Howdy y'all, my name is Jack, and I'm exhausted. Just give me like two minutes, I'll do the intro again. Howdy y'all, my name is Jack, and welcome to the new video. We have made it to Conception Island. This is a place I talk about a lot because it's the kind of place that is in the travel brochure that says travel to the Caribbean, beautiful beaches, blue water. This is that place because the sand here is so fine, it's not gritty or coarse, it's a very fine, almost snow kind of sand. The water here, y'all better not get me started about the water. I'm not a guy that says everything is beautiful, everything is amazing, but this water, it's got to take spot number one for being some of the most beautiful water I've ever seen. It's just the colors, the white sand mixed with the turquoise blue water, it all goes together. The only thing I don't like about this place is that there's not many palm trees. What can you do? With all that being said, I'm gonna go jump in the water. Fine. Enjoy the video! But Jack, what if you get sunburned? But Jack, what if you get cancer? But Jack, no, I gotta work on my Greek god summer burnt body, okay? Uh, I don't wear sunscreen either, fun fact. It's not something I actually wear very often. If I'm like in the sun all day, every day, I'll wear a little bit of sunscreen on my face, but I don't believe in sunscreen. Plus it's the sun. Who doesn't love the sun? Okay, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo. Go fast. In the night, these lemon sharks started swimming around our boat. There were three of them. Now, lemon sharks are pretty docile. There were only like six reported attacks, and from those attacks, all of them were non-fatal. So, I mean, I wouldn't wanna poke around, but we had a really good time watching them. Golly. You're my video, you're leaving anyway. Get out of my video. I'll be out of your life soon enough. <laughs> oh, never mind, I changed my mind. I want you back. <laughs> We're on this beach, but it's not much of a beach. It's more of a rock, but it's still pretty. Luke, what are you doing? Lately, I've been really reminiscing and just trying to enjoy my last few weeks sailing with my family. It's so strange to know that I'm embarking on a new journey and starting basically a new chapter in my life. Moving off the boat, taking a step in my own direction and seeing where life is going to take me. Gross. Weird rock formation. Yo, what is this? You know, it's pretty weird seeing this stuff on an island. And it's not even that it's trash or junk, but it's organized. 
organized trash and junk. These stones have all been placed here. So it makes me wonder what people got in a hairy situation on this island. Because there's no boats around. There's nobody. You ain't calling for help. You, you can yell as loud as you want. Nobody's going to hear you. Now, I know I haven't been putting together a very compelling story this episode or these last few episodes, and I've been trying, I really have. It's just, it's hard to find a real deep and thoughtful story when there's not much going on. But I've been trying. By golly, I've been trying. We got nice sunny beach. No, we don't, we got clouds. We're gonna dig a hole, and we hope the rain don't get us. I say like right here. I say right here. Right? Wait, wait. Now, I don't really know why we decided to do this. I guess it was out of boredom, having nothing to do, and I've always wanted to see how big of a hole I could dig. Well, our work has digressed. Work in your hole! Work! We do a little slave labor here on Sotaro. You might be wondering as to why we're sitting here right now. We are sitting. I don't think I can get out of here. How has your life been going? Pretty good. We're done. Now we're going back to the boat. Okay. Soon as I got back to the boat, dad had been doing something in the engine room and he noticed this hose was leaking. It was the connection from this hose to a part on the engine. You can see it right here, it's leaking pretty bad. So I loosened it, tightened it as best I could. It still dripped a little bit. Well, that surely got most of it. I can't get all of it because I, I think there's a crack due to the rust of that salt water leaking all the time. So we'll call it okay for now. We gotta get the boat ready to go tomorrow because we leave and it's gonna be, it might be rough. We gotta clean up. Luke. Put the dinghy up. You get in or am I getting in? You're getting in. Dude, it's so big. And those are fish you'd actually catch too. Too bad they got chinquetela. Chinquetela. Make sure that battery switches off too, brother. Yeah. Oh my god. Watch your fingers. Oh my god. Three, two, one. There we go. That's what she said. Now it is time to get the sail up because, well, I don't want to be doing it tomorrow morning. So might as well do it tonight. And it is just a hairy bit windy. Heave and heave. And up to the bottom. You get the range of motion. That's all I got in me. I need my light. This is just too dark. Ah, my light is back. All right, sheets are on. Now we're putting the uh, foot of the sail on. You might be able to do something. You might not know the power of the dark side. Okay, we take the tip, we weave it through the hole, suck it up. I put too many in, so it's wanting to wrap all the way around the other way. I need to take a couple of twists out of it. What we're dealing with right now is just this uh, unfurling line system is just wrapping around the whole furling system right there. So we just gotta fix it. What are you saying? I thought it was what flipped. is it? What is it, it Mrs. Looked, it looked pro sailor? Pro sailor. Cause you always take part in the hey. putting up and hey, say, what are you doing? It's a cold good eye. You gotta be nuts. Ba -oom -ba -loom -ba. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're ready to go for tomorrow. It's got a little bit of cleaning to do because it might be rolly, might be bumpy. But that's it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.